How's it going everyone? This here is Jay Ritter. We're back. Just took a 30 minute break. And got me a little drink. Stretched my legs. Hope you're all doing good. I enjoyed my little break. But it is time to get back on the road. We're going to make it tonight. I think they want this mortar. Like, I don't know. I think they need it because um, this is normally the kind of place that shuts down at 5. But they said they're willing to take it this evening. So we're going to get there. Get to Tremonton and uh, get unloaded, and uh, then I guess I'll, uh, you know, hit the truck stop, look for a load for tomorrow, get some rest, all that fun stuff. You yeah, know, but yeah. Anyways, um, not much has happened in the last 30 minutes, <laughs> but uh, we are definitely getting back on the road. And I think this is how you get out of here. Um, I probably could have just made a ride out of the parking spot. I think this is the exit. Yep, there we go. Yep, follow the white arrows. Whee! Okay. I don't think I'm going to follow this white arrow, not that one the other way. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get back on I-80 and uh, we'll head through Salt Lake City and uh, Ogden and before you know it, we will be where we need to be. Which I said earlier is a construction company, which it is the same company, but I realize it's uh, one of their building supply, um, like, warehouses, like, store, kind of. So, um, you know, they kind of have, they kind of have their hands in all sorts of little things. Glad nobody's coming. And if they are now, it's too late for them. <laughs> um, everybody in that lane on um but yeah it's like a kind of little building supply place is where we're going i was looking at it on google earth just a minute ago just reconfirming you know location where i need to be pulling in all that fun stuff i feel like that cadillac that escalade has right away yeah go for it dude I definitely have right away over Prime here, but he doesn't care. I hate to break it to y'all, but I'm actually going to take my turn now. <laughs> That's just how it be. Alright. So yeah, let's get back on the freeway. Enough of this stop and go BS. And the cool thing is, the spot we're going, um, it's right off the exit. So when we get there, it shouldn't be too much of a pain. That's good. We don't have to actually go into Logan. Maybe I'll find me something going out of there tomorrow. Though. That'd be cool. Probably have to run down to Salt Lake City or up to, you know, um, Pocatello to get some. But we'll see. Yeah, it might be something in Ogden, which is close to where I'll be sleeping. I mean, we'll be sleeping in Tremonton. There's a, there's a pretty big truck stop right there. So that's where I'm going to get my shut out tonight. <laughs> there we are. Um, I, th I was thinking this was Utah, but actually, now we're going into Utah. So, um, yep. There it is. Lift up your feet for good luck. All right. <laughs> It'd be nice if we didn't get called in the scale. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're our weight's legal and all that, but you know, we got head steam going already. It'd be nice not to slow down. But we probably will. Um, and not this one, the one on. Oh, got the bypass, alright. Um, not this one, then, it'd be, then we might get caught the one on uh, I 15 um, up around Ogden. That one, that one likes to get me. <laughs> alright, I'm set for 70. Hopefully, this Mustang will make up his mind. I think, I don't know. If, dude. What are you doing? Apparently he's just like hangs like hanging out in my blind spot with his top down. That's crazy. You know, speed limit's 80, right? Like I'm doing 70 because I'm in a big truck and that's the speed I like doing in this big truck. But uh you have a Mustang. Oh man, this guy is dangerous. Like 
booking it across the salt flats, but yeah, which these are salt flats, by the way. Just let this idiot four wheeler get on by. Like, you know, I don't want something to go flying off my truck and hit him. <laughs> I mean, not that anything probably would, but you never know. You know, and like I said, he's driving a convertible, like. And um, even though he's an idiot, I'm sure he finds some reason for me to be responsible for something if something were to happen, so. You know? Yeah. Was, uh, so those were salt flats back there. And uh, we should be getting into Salt Lake City. Um, even though we're technically going left, I believe it's the right lane I'm going to need to go north on 15. So I'm just going to stick right here. X15 pulling up the hill nicely. I think this guy, this guy bought a fast car afraid to use it. Alright. I'll try to let you get in front of me. But you're just determined. You're just determined. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Speed limit's 80 so and the only reason why I don't do 80 isn't because this truck can't do it as you can see. But I uh, just don't like rubbing my engine that high normally. <laughs> Back down the speed I want. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little bit nicer. Uh, so yep, we're coming in the outskirts now. Salt Lake City. Um, we'll be going north on 15. I'm glad I got around that guy. Speed limit just dropped. I mean, like, I could still come past him doing 75, but... Oh, goodness. Okay, now that I'm over, he's back up to speed. That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> but I was being proactive. Yeah. little more to the scenery here than we saw through most of Nevada. <laughs> A few more trees. Which is always nice. General Transport Space out of Flagstaff, which is one of the parts of Arizona actually has a decent amount of trees because of our elevation. But uh, yeah, it's always good to see see a little vegetation. <laughs> 70, but I'm actually going to bring it down again for right now because we'll be taking this uh, exit. So there it is, downtown Salt Lake City, right over there. Well, all through here. City. Been there a few times. Actually, a pretty fun place. Really pretty city. Over here from the Wasatch Range. Alrighty, and now we are on 15. 15. So we're going to get running here. I've scaled just a little ways up the road here. Hopefully, we don't get called in, but if we do, we do. To me, it's a lot more sketchy than that last one. It's like uh, the traffic from Interstate 84 comes in, and it's kind of like you got to weave in and out of that in order to get to it. It's a rough spot, but you know, it is what it is. Dump four, we'll do it again if we get called in. <laughs> so back off the accelerator here. Let Ryder go by me. Oh. Come on now. I'm going to come to a stop just to change lanes. Uh, Four-wheelers are not being kind to me today. There we go. Don't want Riverdale Road. 
So where Archie and Jughead live. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the scale should be right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the right lane, and if I have to get back over, that's fine. But I want to be in this lane just in case I get called in. Probably the clearest I've ever seen that lane, honestly. <laughs> Slow down a little. Even if I don't get called in, it's just wise. Nice. Traffic right here. Oh, whoa, what's going on? the scale <laughs> because of that right there you see what just happened some idiot wasn't paying attention probably looking at their cell phone and just almost went right into the scale house but instead of blocked traffic instead of just going on through they had to hold up two lanes of the interstate morons <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes, though, but I, honestly, I'm in a good mood, and, you know, just had a couple idiots to deal with here on this trip, but, you know, we are making good time. We're going to be getting this unloaded here for too long, actually, and then it'll be time to chill for about 10 hours, <laughs> a little longer than that, actually. Um, I did just straight 10 hours from the time I parked the truck, then it'd be like 3 in the morning or something, you know. It's not really good flatbed loads at that time of day. <laughs> so yeah, we'll stay on 15, but then it's like the next, the exit right after that. Yeah, it's doing 69 miles an hour. Yes, I'm still a seventh grader sometimes when it comes to my humor. Slow me down a little bit for this exit. Get on the interstate, just get right back off. There we go, there's our exit. along 55 and it's like oh cattle guard cacao <laughs> and this is our spot right over here there's right over that green building right over there so yeah what is up receiver get ready to receive gate here and then I'm going to find out where they want me. So let's see. Alright, let's see where they want me. Okay, so they're actually going to have me pull into the building over there. You can see that door's open but they actually they want me to go around the other way. I'm going like to loop around the building and come in the other side and pull through. Pretty easy. You will see. Yeah. Looks like some good stuff here if you need to remodel your house or something. 
<laughs> or build something. We've got all kinds of little supplies here. I always like going to the littler stores, like the smaller stores like this, versus the big box ones. I mean, sometimes you got to, but see, a trailer's kind of the way. You just have to deal with it. So, so I'm swinging as wide as I can. And hopefully we don't get caught on the corner. Nice and slow, swing around wide. And hopefully she'll do. I think she will. I think I can, I think I can. Come on, trailer. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna get unloaded here, and um, and then I will holler back at you here in just a second. All right. Okay, since I'm unloaded now, um, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna flip the switch and lift this axle up. It saves saves a little wear and tear on the tires. Leave it that one leave down. And um, yeah, and just a little easier navigation, little, you know. Yep, since we're empty now. All right. Okay, so yeah, there's a little there's a truck stop right down the street here. I'm gonna head on down, get parked for the evening, and then it'll probably be when I bid adieu to you guys. Make sure my headlights are on. Kind of dark out. It's starting to get a little dark out here now. And I guess these guys are glad to have their mortar. And um, glad they can uh, go on home now. <laughs> yeah, they must have something big coming up because they wanted it tonight. Like the receiving hours are usually, you know, 8 to 5. But uh, I'm glad I could get it to them. That's probably why this load paid kind of well. They're desperate for it. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we came in that way. Actually, we're gonna go straight. And then here, this truck stop. dinner in the fridge here in the truck. Yeah. yeah, it's a little sketchy. Kind of hard. I mean, I make rights on red, but what are you? Yeah. People just don't have it together today. Under 15 here, and in between 15 and 84, we'll try to stop here on the left, and that'll be our home for the night. And find me a load for tomorrow. Yeah, I got some food in the fridge here. Although I think there's a fried chicken place here, it might be kind of good, but I should be healthier. Yeah, mm, crispy chicken. No, no, Jay. Crispy chicken. Eat the healthy stuff you got in your truck. It's my turn in. I missed it, didn't I? Did I just kill the clutch? I just killed the clutch. That's wow. <laughs> it's acting like I'm not in second gear. Like yeah, there it goes the. Like I was trying to start in, start from six L instead of. Uh, too well. 
No, I'm in 2L. My selector switch is down. Alright. Gonna pull on one of these middle spots. I'm a little gun shy after my backing earlier today. Straighten her out. Yeah, let's put forward some. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was I think I was telling you about the backup beeper. And uh, how that one construction company, you know, they kinda want me to have it. Should disable it though, I'm not delivering there. That's for sure. Should pull up next to that truck, so I knew how know how far I'm um, going, how far up I am, by the frame of reference. All right, I think that's good enough. Actually, I'll probably go forward just a little, bit, a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, everybody, roll my wind up. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that was a good run today. Um, I kind of like those like one day runs like that sometimes. I also like the multi day runs, but um, it was nice, you know. I picked up this morning, dropped it off today, and tomorrow will be something brand new. And uh, we're in a different state than where we started, and made a good little bit of change on that load, both for me and my company. So um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Three nine, she did me, she did me good. Um, I didn't do it so good with uh, backing up and or um, you know just trying to turn a second ago. <laughs> but hey, you have those days, you know. And now it's um, memorialized forever. But um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the trip. Let's turn my parking lights on. Turn off my headlights. Um, hope you enjoyed the trip. Um, I certainly did. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Great rest of your week. Remember, um, you know, to wear your mask and get your shot, all that good stuff. And um, this is Jay Ritter, and until next time, have a good one, everybody.